hi guys welcome back to this channel welcome to my old subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers um in this week's video it's a continuation from the video that i published last week so this would be classified as part two so before i get into showing you um the how the bookmarks came out etc i just want to read a scripture for you and it is taken from john chapter one and it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god the same was in the beginning with god all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not so basically i'm just reading from my charles Spurgeon bible so basically what this is saying is that all things were made by him which is the lord himself and when it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god so the word is jesus christ himself so basically in the beginning was jesus and the word and jesus was with god and jesus is <laughs> is god it is a bit confusing but you know i'll put the what i've just written i'll put it on the screen so you guys can have a read of it but basically you know for some people who may be confused um jesus is the flesh of the invisible god so if you were to see god in flesh it is jesus you'll be looking at so sit back enjoy the second part of the video and have a wonderful day it is monday the 12th of december here in the uk and it is snowing i'll put some pictures randomly all over the place so you guys can have a look i know for snowing in london this time of year it's not normal so the kids are out enjoying it i think a lot of schools are closed but my daughter's school is open and she was enjoying it so um as i said i'll just put some clips up of you know we all woke up to um, complete white this morning so have a blessed day and enjoy the video at least i hope you enjoy the video and i will catch you in the next clip so see you bye hi guys welcome back to the why am i saying welcome back welcome this is now the second portion of this video in the first one i was making our doing temp designing bookmarks for fulfilling an order so what i'm gonna do i'm now gonna press them so i've laid out five on my heat press machine so i'm now gonna press them and then we shall see how it comes out so here in um the uk we instead of using you guys probably in america or wherever you're watching from you would use um fahrenheit but we use celsius let me move it over so here it is it should be 185 but the temperature has dropped a bit and according to this it is pressed for 65 seconds so sorry if my um i'm moving the screen and you're getting a bit nauseous so let me just go ahead and press it it has now gone back up let me really um put some heavy pressure oh no let me tighten it i was doing it the wrong way so let me now go ahead and press this and it is for 65 seconds so let me just move this out of the way slightly so when i'm opening my heat press it doesn't go all um falling over the place and let me just adjust my camera so you guys can see much better yep that's it let me just carry it back a bit and that's it so i'm gonna speed up the video in this portion and then 
when I'm down to the last part and doing the, the reveal, so to speak, I'm just going to let you guys see what it is or what it looks like. Okay, now I'm back. Whew, the steam. And now, whew, whew, let me turn this off because I won't be using it for a while. The steam is, it's, the steam is serious that's coming from it. So let, it's gonna be very, very hot. So let me put my gloves on. And I also, I'm gonna need something to rest it on. You know what, I forgot to put parchment paper at the top but i've just checked and it hasn't come off Phew. so let us now do the reveal this is going to be very very hot but it has come off on the paper there So I didn't go crazy with the tape. Oh no, it has left that mark. Oh no, but something is gonna go on the back of it anyway. Oh wow. So that's the, f oh wow. <laughs> that's the first one, I love that. I hope it, the rest doesn't have that sort of scar. Oh no, it came off, but something is gonna go on the back. So that's fine. And it came off with the tape. Oh no. Let me just, you know what? I think this can be rescued. So that's the second one. Blessed. Why is it the tape? They leave this mark though. And that's the third one. So that's the third one that says redeemed. And then this is the fourth one that says loved. Did it do that and then that's the fifth one that says fearfully and wonderfully made so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna allow these to cool and then when I'm doing the pressing for the second um, to put the um, the person's name on it then I will be back so see you in a few minutes bye hi guys so i'm now back as you can see i had such a miss up in the first one so hopefully when i pressed it it doesn't look that bad if it does then i just have to do over the ones that look very obvious so i've now gone ahead and i've done i'm now doing the other side with the names on it and i'm not gonna forget to put my parchment paper what i've also done i've loosened it up a bit because i'm not sure if i had it too firm so i'm now gonna start oops yeah so once i have um sorry about that so once i have finished the pressing then i'll start the video again i'm just gonna speed it up i'm now back guys Whew. it has come through so fingers crossed it will all come out looking really nice Oops, it hasn't come off on this so let me just put this one side carry this i can literally 
you know what let me use this and put it down there so what i've done i've stuck like a load of tape on it this time so oh no oh that's what it looks like i mean it can be like the style <laughs> i'm not sure let me see what the rest looks like because some came out with this big yellow scorch mark and that's the other one i mean it didn't come out that bad but i don't feel good giving some selling that no oh dear but you know what i did i went ahead and i bought extra for something like this sometimes we have the best intentions for things to come out but it, they don't that one's not so bad but you can still see it right about there what a bummer it will probably just have to be back to the drawing board for these so now I know the next time when I'm pressing it, I don't need to be putting this waka tape. Oh yeah, this one, nah. Oh dear. Let me see how this one came out. Yeah, that's not so bad. That one definitely can go. So that one's all right. Yeah, that one's all right. Whew. So what I'm going to have to do now, guys, I'm just going to have to reprint them because I can't. You can't sell. Um, people are paying their money for things and you can't. You can't do that to people. So it's back to the drawing board for at least four. Four of them. But I mean, no, I can't. There's no way I can sell that. Give that to the customer with that big they're hot i completely forgot but that's how it came out i mean that's all right that one's that one's that one's definitely a keeper it's such a pity it has the scorch mark at the back but i'm just gonna have to do them over and i mean i'll just have to the thing is if the bookmarkers weren't that expensive anyway and i'd bought loads just in case so when i've pressed them all and when i've dressed them then i'll be back so see you in the next clip bye hi guys so i'm now back boy this was a mission but you know what in our businesses you will have problems where you have to go back to the drawing board so i've gone and i've repressed six because this one wasn't looking that bad at least it didn't look bad anyway so I've gone through and I've now repressed um, the six that had like the scorch mark on it. So that's one. Can be redeemed. And that's another one. Imelda, I think. That's how it's pronounced. And then it has loved. And then you have that one. And then on it, it's fearfully and wonderfully made. And then this one has Erica and it has on it Chosen. And this one has Ramona and I just put, cause for some reason what I had on it before, I can't, I don't know where it went. Honestly, I think it got, I didn't save that, um, that file. So I just put on it fearfully and wonderfully made. And what I did, I did an offset to sort of bring up the white against the, background which is a peacock and then this one blessed and on it it has marie so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna dress them up and package them and then once i've done all of that then i will come back to show you guys the final product 
okay guys so i'm now back well i hope you have stuck around to this video it's a bit longer than i thought it would be but i just wanted to show you the steps from start to finish in fulfilling um an order that a customer made for seven bookmarks um she'll be giving them as um as some little stocking fillers etc so what i've gone ahead and done which i think would be a nice touch because i've um i bought a template on i think it's designbundles.net of like boxes so i went ahead and cut them out on my silhouette software and then it also came with this template the bookmark holders i already made a template for myself but i wasn't sure if the size that i made whether or not it would fit in this box so what i thought would be a really good idea is to just put the names of each person on the outside of the box that way they won't have to open it in order to get in and i have left my weeding tool so i'll have to be back one moment i completely forgot that i needed to have a weeding tool so what i've done i'm using self-adhesive vinyl um for this one so what i'll do i'm just gonna weed it i'm just gonna show you guys how i'm weeding one and then I'll f fast forward the video and when I'm sticking it on to the outside of the box then I will slow the video down. So to weed it, if you guys have not weeded self-adhesive before, this is Arteza's own self-adhesive brand. It's a bit tricky in terms of getting it started but once it gets started that's it. So. You just have to get underneath it exactly like this and then once because i already have the preset cut settings in the software after trial and error i found it so once it has done it, it as you can see it just weeds very very easy so let me just try and get this bar up and that's it as you can see it's weeding it's weeding very easily because the cut settings are absolutely perfect so we don't need that so we just discard that and then all i have to do is to just take out this little one here for the a and then that's it that's the very first one candy and let me see so this is this is candy's um bookmark so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put it in the same box as the bookmark so i have to ensure that what i'm doing i'm just fold the box accordingly and ensure that i'm putting it on the right side so i just make up the box as if to say i'm gonna put it in and then i want the words mm, i'm not sure yeah i'll probably put the word here because the box is gonna be open that way yeah so that's it so align it to make sure that it's there so what you do is you get your You get your self-adhesive vinyl tape. I don't even need such a big piece. So what I'll do, I'll just cut it down to size because in all honesty, I would be wasting a lot of it. And the longest word is that one. So I'll cut it to round about the middle there. This is an in, inexpensive um, self-adhesive tape which I bought from 
I think it's Amazon. So let me move that one side. Let me just get rid of that paper. And then you just, I don't have any special method to be quite honest. I just ensure that it's completely covers it. And then we just go ahead and burnish it. So you burnish it on both sides. And if it is burnished properly, when you're lifting off the, um, the transfer tape, it will come off quite easily. So there we go. Oops. That one didn't come off so well. So a trick that you can use is just to use the the back of the weeding tool the hook and just gently lift it up because as you can see the words are not together so that's it and let me pause the video because my phone is ringing one moment oh hi guys sorry about that i had to cut the video a bit short so in the meantime what i've done i've gone ahead and i've um assembled not really fully assembled but i've gone ahead and i've put the names oops sorry i've gone ahead and i've done this so what i'll do i'm sure you guys have seen loads of videos with people who have done self-adhesive vinyl vinylin so what i've done i'm just peeling it at the moment i'm just peeling it and basically that's it i love the fact oh it peels very easily from its own um backing tape and then all i do is i line it up whether or not it's lining up straight i'm not sure but i just put i'm uh, not not straight i mean properly centered but i'm just lining up as best as i possibly can at least it doesn't look wonky and then you put it down and you burnish it burnish it as much as you possibly can and if it has been burnished properly it will then be easy to just remove the the tape and that's it let me just put this one side and then that's what it would look like when the box is completely made up oops and that's it so what i'm going to do i'm just going to do the rest although i'm going to do the rest on camera but i'm just going to speed the video up um in order to save time because i'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me doing the other how many more do i have left i have one two three i've done four so i only have three more left so i'm not sure that you guys will want to sit here and sorry i'm just moving positioning it properly and just watch me do the rest so sit back enjoy <laughs> well at least i hope you're enjoying anyway so basically that's it so um let me explain a bit on this so what i've done i said i got a template from designbundles.net that shows to do the cutting out of the box and on the silhouette machine or even if you have the cricket machine or cry cut i pronounce it as it comes where you can score it so that's what i've done i've cut around and then i'm not sure you guys can see some of these lines but it just the machine scores it for you so you have these nice scoring lines so when you are folding over your project it makes it easier and looks so much neater when i'm folding it over so as i said i'm just showing you one the first one that is 
and then once I've done that I'm then gonna go ahead and then I'm gonna just speed up this video because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me doing all of this so once I've started to glue it then I will come back and show you exactly what I have or what I am doing so catch you in a moment shaping it shaping the box and that's what it looks like really lovely box and then what I'll do now I'll just go and find hers which is that bookmark and then what I do I just place it in along with the tassels and oh I didn't show you guys but I went and I used my is it crocodile and then I just punched some eyelets to give it a different a different touch and then I'm just placing these in let me get my um I keep going out of frame let me try my best to do it in such a way right so I'm just gonna put it in the box like that glue it the glue should stick do that do that and there we go that's it ready for the customer that's it ready for the customer so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest and then once I'm finished I will be back to show you the final product or the final um how it looks so i'm just gonna speed up the video right about here so You 
scorch back from the tape but in the end one has to persevere and don't give up so there you go guys all seven i think i may probably put some tape along the bottom here to hold it so that's what it looks like all seven bookmarks that were ordered from a customer by a customer i should say that's it all package i think uh, yeah it's coming out so i'll probably use some tape or something to keep that so that's it guys all seven finished i'm not sure if you guys can see let me just move position my camera a bit so oops sorry about that so you guys can just have a look let me zoom in so that's them all seven finish boxed and ready for collection so thank you for st sticking around well at least i hope you have stuck around to the end of this video this has been a long one but it's a process it's a step by step from start to finish me designing them printing pressing and everything so thank you yet again thank you very much to my old subscribers thank you to my new subscribers and how can i ever forget thanks to my lord and savior jesus christ who have made all of this possible and i just want to say may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and may the countenance of the lord forever rest upon you and give you peace and that's what we need in this day and age peace may the peace of the lord surrounds you and the peace that surpasses all understanding and guard your heart and i say to you now shalom 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 and that's what it looks like beautiful 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 thank you very much tata bye see